I'm Dr. Chris Masterjohn. I have a PhD in nutritional sciences, and I focus on the biochemistry of how the food that you eat impacts your ability to optimize your mitochondrial energy production. I'm totally a fan of nuance, not hyperbole, and I am going to explain to you why I'm not exaggerating at all. Literally, mitochondria govern everything, and you always want to be thinking about your mitochondria first. Mitochondria are important across the lifespan for protection against disease, for promoting abundance, adaptability, and resilience, for physical, mental, and cognitive performance, and for your longevity. The way that mitochondria do this is simple. They convert raw material of food into usable energy in the form of ATP. Just as in society, we take raw materials and convert them into usable energy like gasoline and electricity. This is what fuels the production of everything in our body, its maintenance, its repair, its transport, and its distribution. And that's why just as we use fuels in society for civilization and prosperity inside our bodies, mitochondrial energy production is what fuels health and longevity. Mitochondrial dysfunction is the key driver of aging. In fact, your mitochondrial function declines on average by 1% per year from the age of 18 through the age of 80. By the time you're 70, you've lost half of your cellular energy production. The good news is that age only explains 25% of mitochondrial function. That means that 75% is under your control to optimize using diet, lifestyle, exercise, supplements, and individualized testing to help determine the unique needs of your mitochondria. Not thinking about mitochondria first is a big mistake always. Think about common diseases that we treat with drugs that are mitochondrial poisons. We treat depression with SSRIs, even though depression starts with mitochondrial dysfunction in the brain, and SSRIs trap people into new onset mitochondrial dysfunction, especially when they go off the drugs after having been on them for a long period of time. They trap people between emotional blunting and sexual dysfunction as side effects of staying on them to a whole battery of new onset neurological dysfunction when they go off. If we started with optimizing mitochondrial function using morning sunlight, using nutritional supplements, and using exercise, with, which have across the collective hundreds of randomized controlled trials in their support, then we would avoid having to deal with new onset mitochondrial dysfunction as a result of being on or off SSRIs in the future. Take acne, where the fundamental problems are not being able to activate your own vitamin A, so it gets treated with synthetic activated forms of vitamin A, and not being able to clear fatty acids in your skin, and the fatty acids accumulate and drive the production of inflammatory bacteria, which are then targeted with antibiotics. And the antibiotics are, are mitochondrial poisons, and Accutane has its own set of problems. If we just focused on good nutrition and mitochondrial function, we could fix acne without having to deal with the introduction of new mitochondrial poisons. And then finally, take how we treat cholesterol. Statins are unambiguous mitochondrial toxins. They hurt ATP production. That's why they cause diabetes and myopathy. But mitochondrial function is necessary to move cholesterol from your blood into your cells. Everyone is focused on what receptor can we activate with a drug, but what they're not focused on is that having good thyroid health and having optimal mitochondrial ATP production is actually what drives the natural clearance of cholesterol from your blood into your cells. Putting mitochondria first, but without having actual data, doesn't always produce a good result. I'll give you three examples. I know someone named Jane who had trouble swallowing and had trouble with orthostatic tolerance, meaning had trouble standing up. Jane's practitioner put her on high-dose thiamine and a ketogenic diet because the practitioner had found that that had worked for themselves. But she got five times worse and wasn't able to eat when she sat up because she wouldn't even have the energy to be able to swallow. Some people do understand the importance of putting mitochondria first, but a lot of people are only thinking about mitochondria in terms of generic cure-alls that they apply equally to everyone. And the problem is that not everyone has the same needs. 
For example, I've seen some people get dramatically better on a ketogenic diet or high dose thiamine or methylene blue, but I've seen other people get tremendously worse on a ketogenic diet or high dose thiamine or methylene blue. And in all of those cases, testing the mitochondria's needs would have revealed that they would have had challenges with those approaches and would have been better off using other approaches. In fact, data show that some people do great on a certain dose of CoQ10, whereas another person develops high blood pressure or elevated fasting insulin on that same dose of CoQ10. And yet other people on very high doses can develop problems like orthostatic hypotension, acid reflux, heart palpitations, or hypocalcemia. Some people rave about methylene blue, but animal studies show that if you have a block in your mitochondrial energy production, methylene blue can help you get around it. But if you don't have a block, methylene blue actually hurts your ATP production because it starts to rewire your, the way that you metabolize energy. But the way that you metabolize energy naturally is the best way when everything's working properly. Because of this need to do mitochondrial testing, I developed Mitome. Mitome is the only at-home cheek swab analysis of mitochondrial function that builds you a personalized protocol to transform your cellular energy. I'll give you three examples of some of the results that customers from Mitome have gotten. For example, Jacqueline went into unexplained menopause or amenorrhea at just 28 years of age. She tried all kinds of approaches and nothing worked. 10 years later, she got her mitome results. It told her she had a highly specific need for CoQ10. Boom, two weeks into her first dose of CoQ10, her period came back. It's now been a year and it's still completely restored. Miguel had no health problems until he underwent a series of SSRI withdrawal and switching that led to new onset mitochondrial dysfunction, causing problems like peripheral neuropathy, sexual dysfunction, shortness of breath, anxiety, muscle cramping, numbness, and excessive urination. He lost over 17 pounds during this process. Mitochondrial testing showed that he had a very specific impairment in bringing the process of methylation into his mitochondria and that methylation was his limiting factor. And on a specific protocol to support mitochondrial methylation, Miguel was six weeks in and already saying that he felt better than he had in years. And now after nine months, he's regained all of the muscle that he had lost. All of those new onset problems are gone. He's making new PRs in the gym on a almost daily basis. And he finally feels like himself again and is excited about life. Third example, Anita had triple negative breast cancer, underwent chemotherapy, and a year after her last round of chemotherapy, she still struggled from deep fatigue, brain fog, and scars that hadn't healed. Her personalized protocol found specific deficits in her mitochondria and put her on a protocol of unique amino acid and organic acid supplements that would make detours around the limiting bottlenecks in her mitochondria. She reported a surge of cellular energy that allowed her to start strength training program, replace all the muscle that she had lost, and her scar tissue healed completely, while autoimmune conditions that were flaring up finally subsided. Mitome specifically is looking at the respiratory chain, which is made of four major complexes that each have genetic variation between people and each have unique nutritional needs and abilities. These are the engines that are responsible for ATP production. The different complexes each have different needs and abilities, like complex four requires copper and the others don't. One and two require riboflavin, but the others don't. And fat, carbohydrate, and protein all take different paths through the chain. And so by looking at which is high and which is low, what are the ratios and what are the patterns, we can develop unique inferences about how you can best support your cellular energy production based on your individual results. It'll give you a personalized protocol with detailed examples of how to implement each step, and the protocol you get will be highly unique to you. Problems with mitochondrial energy production are like traffic jams. If you mega dose one nutrient, you can run straight into an another bottleneck that's limited by a different nutrient, and you can have effectively a car crash. Ideally, we wanna expand the capacity of the entire chain, but sometimes, there's a genetic limitation, and the best that we can do is make a detour around it. So Mitome can answer questions for you like, do you burn carbs or fat better? What vitamins and minerals do you need to support your mitochondrial function? And does it matter what order you put them in? Should you use CoQ10? 
Or should you use a different product that's similar called MitoQ? When should you consider using methylene blue, if at all? Do you need to adjust your location or your health practices to adjust your oxygen exposure? Are certain toxic factors hurting your mitochondria? And, and so much more than that. There are things that everyone should do for their mitochondria. My top five would be creatine, sunlight, exercise, a well-rounded nutrient-dense diet, and a way to accentuate your fasting feeding cycle, like doing some exercise in the morning before you eat breakfast. Going beyond the basics, we all have unique needs driven by our genetics, driven by our nutrition, our lifestyle, and the entire past of our history, things that were within our control, things that were beyond our control that have shaped who we are today. And Mitome is a simple cheek swab that you put in a prepaid mailer, send it in a few weeks later, you have your results telling you exactly what the unique needs of your mitochondria are and how you can best optimize your cellular energy production in the here and now. Once you experience it, you're going to see why Mitome is the fastest growing mitochondrial test of its kind. Find out what your mitochondria need and start optimizing them today at mito.me. Again, that's mito.me.